There are now 39 fruits and 39 swords and blocks fruit. And I will be using them all to defeat, you guessed it, 39 bosses. This may include Rip Indra, all the way up to even the Leviathan. But we must start with the Gorilla King. And the worst build in the game is none other than the Katana and the Rocky Fruit. Now my stats are set according to each boss's level in the game. And if we're starting with the Gorilla King, this should be a breeze. Air Slash. Wow, that was useless. Quiet Rush. That was not quiet at all. Blast Off. Why does that not do damage? Gee, a Gorilla King down. And our build needs an upgrade. Now, Bobby is next, and his level is 55. This means Rocket upgrades the Spit. Katana upgrades the Dual Katana. Oh, and I can't have God Human. We must start from the beginning with Dark Step. Now, I do need some stats. We're rocking a hybrid build today. Going in melee, defense, sword, and blocks fruit. This may be tough. Attack! I'm not doing nothing. We're a win. Don't let me pull out my Pokemon moves. Razor Wind. Razor Wind. Oh, I got him trapped inside. Oh, free damage. Matter of fact, I'm coming in there with you. Well, this is a nice crib. A Woo! I was gonna say I was kind of cooking, but he's kind of cooking me. Whoa, run! More whirlwind. Let's go. Buggy down. Look at my health. This is not gonna be easy, and I'm gonna have to beat the Leviathan. Now, I will be doing raid bosses, and since the saw is not here yet, we'll have to move on to level 110 Yeti, upgrading to chop as my fruit and cutlass as my sword. But how is this an upgrade? A slingshot? <laughs> oh, wow, that did not work at all. Okay, hot. Right. Tackle! I hate having Pokemon move. Dance! This is not going well. This is not going well, jump. Woo wait, thought you had me. Did I mention? For every time I die, I will have to give a permanent fruit out. So drop your username in the comments. I still have a few to give out. Look at this. Venom, Phoenix, Barrier. But let me tell y'all, I ain't dying to no boss. Party in the face. Let's go. Yeti down. 36 more bosses to go. Now, a boss called the Mob Leader is next. It's located right here. And we're gonna have to upgrade from Chop to Spring. How is that? How is that an upgrade? And for our sword, we gotta go from Cutlass to Twin Hooks. Finally, something useful. All right, now check Check this out. I had a strategy for this. I waited for this moment, Bob Leader. Sprigly. Yep. That's what I thought. What you gonna do, huh? Hit me? <laughs> you can't do nothing. Bring his S tier. Spring cannon. You know, it's a shame that my twin hooks are about to go to waste. Because, like, this is a very useful weapon. I didn't know it'd be rated this low. But the twin hooks? Yo, they good. Like, with the moon? Bro, check that drip. Spring upgrades the bomb. Twin hooks turn into triple katana. Oh, heck no. And we've done this so many times. Can y'all guess who our next boss is? Comment three, two, one. If you didn't say Vice Admiral, you was wrong. But this is good. Because bomb is actually a useful fruit. Why I say that? Hit it with the triple katana slash. That was actually good. Violet rush. That was good too. But this is what I need. A move called self-destruct. Woo! Landmines. Targeted bomb. Bomb grab. Give me time for the self-destruct. Blow my bombs. Boom! Finish it. So far, we moving smooth. But the next boss up is one that's costed me many fruits already in the past. The level 200. Saber expert. Now, I need my stats in for this one. 200 all around. And an upgrade. Goes from bomb to smoke. You know what? I'll take that. And from triple katana to shark sun. Now, this saw actually may get me killed, but let's find out. Because I got smoke. Smoke liberation. Yep, and smoke blast. That's actually a very good move. If I combine it with the shark saw, this is what I was talking about. So I need to run through here. Watch this, watch this. Smoke blast, followed by execution. Do my damage, you can't do nothing. Weave, slash him away, and I just got a rinse and repeat. Finish it off. Smoke blast. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Where's the awakening? It dropped. With the saber expert down, a lot of my worries are already gone, but it's only going to get harder from here. And I got three bosses. Smoke upgrades to spike for the sword. Shark saw upgrades to iron mace. Oh, wow. Like it's kind of underrated. Spiky ball. I like keep it underrated. You got one of those. Drag them into the wall. Pound them in the wall. Pause. Hold on. Now, as you can see, this warden boss is level 220. Now, I didn't put my stats in yet because they clearly ain't needed. Your spike is different. This really ain't even that bad. Warden down. The next boss is level 230. Chief warden. But the fight up spike must turn into, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Flame. Guess what Poppy ordered? Iron mace turns into, yo, y'all see this? Warden sword. No, nah, they did this on purpose. We got the same sword. Oh, now nah, the lore is crazy. Yo, did y'all know that? Nah, I didn't even know. House, core, flaming vortex, warded sword. You know how I get that. I ain't doing no damage, but you know how I get that. Pop him in the face. I see combo potential. My build is getting better. And burn him up. Upgrade. Now flame turns into falcon. And warded sword turns into trident. Now, Poppy, there's no way this is an upgrade. From flame to falcon? How? But if I, woo, wind burst. Oh, Crusher. That's actually the one good move. Oh, this is not an upgrade. Chill. Yo, why did my wings go away? Flying Talon. Bone Crusher. Wind Burst. That sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh character. Because if I go Bone Crusher, right? Into Water Pulse. Into Trident Throw. 
<laughs> Stop playing with me. And our next boss coming up is level 350. Makado Cho 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 Puppy. Now the upgrade for this goes from Falcon to Ice. And Sword goes from Trident to Soul Cane. Oh, now this is actually a good build. Soul Cane actually holds him in place. Soul Slashes does a little bit too. But if I hit him with what? A Cold Storm? A little Frozen Move? Glaciers? Oh, the Sauce Spawn. That's who we're fighting next. But if I go Soul Beam and then just dice him, Cold Storm, Absolute Zero, Sword Slashes, this could be a PvP pp build right here freeze sub zero hold him still yes sir that's what i thought okay i gotta hurry up with the saw spawn i don't want him to leave now i made my way to middle town there's the saw and ice upgrades the sand and my sword goes from soul king to the pipe you know i don't know if this is much of an upgrade but it could be let's cook let's find out throw him in the dust storm pipe ignition blast him like it's christmas oh he can't even hit me yo yeah this is the easiest raid boss that we're gonna fight today and we got a lot coming nah, i didn't know sand was good like this for bosses sand coffin i am not Gara, but I'll take it. Easy. We need an upgrade. Our sand fruit turns into dark. And pipe turns into long sword. Now, I've attempted this sword in the past. And I'm telling you, this was one of the most useless swords I experienced. But we'll see if we can make it work. Because dark, dark is different. Is he level 425? Woo! Yeah, puppy. Let's boost up our stats. This is not no upgrade. Wait, I'm supposed to upgrade. I didn't say the boss could upgrade. Dark slash, hit him away. Oh, that was one hit. That was half my HP. You know what? I'm gonna throw one of these. That was a bad idea. Oh, I almost lost my life. Annihilate. Jeez, it don't even matter. And I got the trident. You know how long that took me to get? Oh, oh, upgrade. Now, out of the 39 bosses, 15 are in first C. And we've already defeated 12. But next up is level 500 Whisper. I got to upgrade. And Dark turns into Diamond. Longsword turns into Giant. Now, the Longsword was actually not that bad. But Diamond, baby, tackle. Oh, if I could get the Diamond Mastery off this boss, that'd be crazy. I haven't even gotten Solar Flare yet. So I have the Encrust on. This should give me like an extra kind of boost. Diamond Hill, that would be useful if it like lasted longer. That Giant move is interesting. Instant though. One move with diamond. Dodge the rocket. BB tackle. Let's go. And coming up, we have one of the strongest bosses in all the first scene. Thunder God and now. Bro, I need something better than diamond. Because this, this is not it. Oh, yes, Papi. Light for my sword. Gravity cane. Oh, I am blessed. Th this is an actual build I could use. Let's check me out, bro. Check this. Check this. I got combos for real. Yeesh. <laughs> Boom, Wrath of God. Stop playing. Suck him back up. Yes, sir. That's how I get down. Now, gravity cane is actually one of the weapons I use in my normal PvP. PvP. It's definitely one of the better new weapons in the game. And with the combo potential of this fruit, I say fruit. Woo, bro, it's sniping me for real. Bro, this feels good. Because I can do this. I can do this. Slam him down. Lift them up. Divide arrow. This is how you make it rain. And I rain your body. How you feel? Easy. Light upgrades to rubber. We are now on to the final first C boss. Cyborg Frankie. And I believe he should be. Level 675. Now, since I beat him now, it's only fair that I can upgrade to his drum. This should give my rubber fruit a boost. Gravity Cane upgrades the dual headed blade. And I'm gonna need all the boost I can get. Just check me out, bro. What is a dual headed blade? What is this even? Raging wind. I missed from here? Oh, nah. Take this out the game. Assassinate. Oh, nah. Take this out the. Oh, immediately. Immediately. Okay, hold on. I I, I, I'm not even gonna play with him. Secondo! Pop him. Dual headed blade. I'm rocking a main character build, and bro is literally a side character. And he's giving me a hard time? Oh, nah, nah, nah. Where is the rework? I, bro, I gotta say that for every fruit in this game. Bro, if we don't get a rubber rework at Blocks Fruits or the next gear, bro, I, I'ma make one myself. And that's on Joy Boy. Let's go! Now, I will be moving on to second C because I'm gonna do all the raid bosses in order. Clearly, they're stronger than these ones. Now, I'm in second C, and I'm currently about to upgrade to one of the worst fruits in the game. Rubber turns to barrier. So, I'm gonna need a sword that can really save me here. Because we know barrier ain't doing nothing. Dual-headed blade turns to... Let's go! Dragon trident? Oh, try me. Barrier down the hatch. And our first boss. Hey, yo, diamond. I got something for them, jinx. If you didn't know, diamond is level 1750. Now, I got my boost already, but I need to find a way to make this move land. Okay, there we go. Yes! Can I not hit him? I'm getting cooked by diamond. Why, barrier? Why? Why is this the assist I have? You know what? Can I try something? If I slam this on him, right? What if I go like in the middle with M1? Him? Can he hit me? Nah, are you serious? I can use my barrier as a wall? Let's go! Barrier was good for something. First boss out of seven second C bosses down, which means we're currently at 16 out of 39. And our next boss is Jeremy. Now I'm gonna need a fruit that can actually help me because this may be dangerous. And barrier upgrades to ghost. And please, I don't want to leave Dragon Trident, but it upgrades to Yama. You know what? That's not even that bad because we're already 
Guardian to the legendary sword. And Ghost has a move called Ghostbusters. Bring on the jump. Jump him, jump him, jump him, jump him. Everybody jump him. You did not kill my boys, Jeremy. Uh -huh. You know what? This is on. You ain't killing me. Why? On the dead hobbies. Gee, light him up. Let's go, boys. Hit him with one of these. That's what I'm talking about. On the dead hobbies, bro. You ain't killing my boys again. Where's he? No, my boys. I'm gonna bring him back. On the dead hobbies. Hellish slash. Stop playing with me. And, and I got the black bikey coat. Oh, when I see an upgrade, I'm gonna take an upgrade. Ghost now turn to Magma. And Yama turn to Wando. Now, our next boss is Fujita at level 925. And let's just say, I'm very under level. But the drip, the drip is immaculate. Now, I know Magma is literally one of the highest damage fruits in the game. If not the highest damage fruit. So that's not gonna bother me. But what does Wando do? I never really gave this sword a good, good little go. Dragon Gust? That, that was just a cute little slash. Like, literally a cute little slash. That, that was not nothing special. Oh, let me, oh, wait. Continuous slash. Oh, you hold it. Oh, that lasted a while. I got my special move. Volcanic Storm, followed by more eruption, followed by the slam, followed by one of those, followed by with gusto. Gravity cane unlocked. And so is the next upgrade. Now the next boss is one who I actually fear. Don Swan. A boss with two phases at level 1,000. The fruit I will have to beat him with is the Quake Fruit Sword Kushida. I don't know. I actually don't know if I can do this. Wait, people use the sword. Wait, this is the good one, right? Oh, this is the good one. Oh, hot, hot. Let me see if I can come up with some combos. Now, I feel like Don Swan spawn is not in the mansion. I'm actually underground. So if I'm underground, my sea quake, it should reach, right? That only makes sense. It does. If you didn't know, Don Swan is actually located under Jeremy. Which means my quake moves may not work on certain bosses, but they go work on him. Dodge. This is something hot. Huh? I may have to start using this. Let me not get confident. I lie, trap me. No! Because I died on quake. This means a free perm quake. Belongs to one of you. Now the question is, am I gonna let Don Swan make it too? Oh, see, I knew bro was gonna be strong. But like the one shot was kind of crazy, bro. At this point, I'm allowed V3. Because this is where you get V3. And it looks like I can somewhat break his moves. That's gonna be very useful. I have to learn which move does what. I can't just keep clicking button. Okay, air crusher. Use that. Beto demolisher. Push him away. Come over here. Sea quake. Easy, easy. Weave, 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 weave. And I hold him still into the sea quake. Oh, air crusher. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, that was tough. It's only gonna get harder from here. The next boss after Don Swan is a Smoke Admiral at level 1,150. The upgrade goes from Quake to Buddha and Tashida to Spiky Trident. Now, my Spiky Trident is blessed. My Buddha is blessed. And this Smoke Admiral, I ain't gonna lie, this, this man is cooked. This is something I need for like end game. I don't need this now. This build is too good. This is like literally probably the best farming build I could have got. I can't even see him. And he's dead. I couldn't even see him. The Smoke Admiral got eliminated quick, which means we move on to the Awakened Ice Admiral. But that's not before I really get an upgrade. For my sword, we can try to turn into Shisui. Buddha goes into love. And since I beat Don Swan, I'll definitely take the Swan glasses. And for my fighting style, let's go ahead and upgrade to Superhuman. Now this build's starting to cook. Not to mention I got a best friend though. Focus Sean, you worried about the wrong man, bro. Did you just get jumped by my best friend? Oh, nah. Fight me on my boy Ranger. Library key? Gee! One boss in second C remain. And this Tide Keeper is the only thing stopping me from getting in the third. And this Tide Keeper is the only thing stopping me from getting the third C. Love upgrades the spider. It's just we upgrades the shark anchor. Oh, no. <laughs> Y'all stop playing with me. Watch my combos, puppy. Watch my combos. Hey, y'all, this a mag, not a clip. This a mag. Shark Anchor is exactly what I needed at a time like this. For the hardest boss in second C, I pull out literally my number one best weapon. Clap him up. Boom. Bro, bro, hold on. Let me use my... <laughs> I forgot I got a fruit because I don't need it. But I'm going to use it. Rainbow Strings. Can't go wrong. With the Silk Prison. Overheat a sniper. Get my fundamentals in. Oh, oh he spawned the Sea Beast. Hey, what's that going to do? Hurt me? Oh, wait. It hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Thermal laceration, overheated sniper. I gotta end this. I gotta end this before I die. Easy. Now I'm getting out of here. Because I am not dying to no sea beast. Boys, we in third C. And my upgrade goes from spider to sound. I'll take that. And shark anchor. Like, there's nothing that can even upgrade. But we got Sadie. And with my blessing, I take that too. Now, all I'm gonna say is I've been scammed out of many, many Robux. I should I should have been talking about this. Because I need help. Now there is seven third C bosses total. Ranging from stone all the way to cake prince and the raid bosses.
Bucks. But for now, with this combo, this fit will be a breeze. And, and I'm kind of enjoying the hybrid build right now. It, it's actually feeling kind of nice. Like, they, they should have gave some sort of epilepsy warning. Because I could have sworn I lost my vision before. Can't I sue? Uh, uh, Blocks Foods, I'm suing y'all. Give me all the money I spent on this game back. Please. I'm gonna go hungry soon. It's January. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> if you didn't know, YouTubers don't make money in January, bro. We make like, like, like nothing, man. I, I'm just out here making these for fun. Just for y'all, man. Just, whoa, I'm dying. Let me lock in. Let me lock in. Slice them up and finish it up. Dice, 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 dice. Sheesh. Stone down. Six to go. And the next boss is Boa, the Island Empress. Is she in the floor? Oh, she is the perfect height. It's like she was waiting. Hey, my me. I did not stop. I, I did not upgrade. Now, sound turns in the Phoenix. And Sadie, whoo, becomes Saber. Saber is the highest damage sword in the game. And if she's level 1675, well, so am I. Now, because I have Phoenix, anything she hits me for, I can just heal. So I can honestly tank hit. I have hockey now. I'm in third C. I should be able to use that. Just use Phoenix to my advantage. Now, what happens if I use this move inside? Down. Blast her with flames. Give her the slam. Bro, I sent this girl into the shadow realm outside. How does she even get out there? Oh my, and I'm piecing her up through the ceiling? Come on now. Come on, papi. I can use this. This is actually a combo. Bro, I'm finding low-key combos. Matter of fact, what's y'all's favorite sword? Comment it down below. Because Saber's gotta be like, it's gotta be up there. Although it's a little slow, the damage... Oh, I gotta heal. The damage on this sword is immaculate. Look at that. Blast her away. Deadly rush. Get a quick little heal. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix out here. Nah, I didn't even go full full hybrid. I may as well, right? Let's test it out. Slam her down. Reway blast. Blue flames. And this should be the end. A boa. Burn damage? Oh, that did not work. Saber? Bro, cook her. Thank you. Five thirsty bosses remain. Then we're on the raid boss. Phoenix upgrades to my personal favorite fruit portal. I need a good complimentary sword because this fruit does not do damage. Saber upgrades to Red Goku? Now, I've heard stories about this sword, but I never really put it to work. Try me. I like it. I like it. W was it a little slow? But I'm about to find out. Dice, slice, and everything nice. Burning slash? Why did they put a demon slayer character sword in the game? Is that, is that not fire? I think that's fire, bro. Y'all blocks roots unbad me. Why did y'all bad me? What did I do to y'all? Oh, I gotta focus up. Well, I focus. Let me give you this backstory. So recently, I got banned from the Blocks Fruit Discord for buying Blocks Fruit accounts. Bro, I didn't even buy no accounts. Apparently, it was for an old vid I did where I got permission from Poppy Indra to post it. And then they gotta ban me like nine months later. But free Fiji, I did nothing wrong. Woo! And that is all. Ren Goku, I get the PvP chance, I will. But for now, upgrade time. Oh no, not this boss. We have the hardest boss in all of Blocks Fruit's history coming up. A boss I've never defeated ever in my life on my first try. I've yet to defeat this boss with Buddha. I've challenged players to defeat this boss. And if they did, I'd give them any fruit they want. They couldn't do it. Portal turns into Rumble. Oh my, I may have a chance. Ren Goku turns into full second form. Bro, they do this on purpose. Bro. You know what? With my hybrid build almost max my points are almost gone all i gotta say is try me i'm gonna lie with rumble i may have a chance now why this boss is hard because it's, it's not just like it's a one-time thing this boss has multiple phases and the phase two is near impossible to beat solo unless you have a fruit that's meant for farming like kitsune buddha etc any average fruit it's gonna give you a run for your money look i'm already half health we just started this is the base four now if i could last long enough hop out v4 we are in a place where v4 is almost active matter of fact I'm kind of recognizing the attack pad. Wait, phase two? Wait, what? No, 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 no. I wasn't ready. I needed more farming. Help! I respect everyone except this mother... Give me your energy! No! Yes! We're less than like a thousand HP. We clutched the dub. No B4. Stop playing with me. And Rumble upgrades to... Huh? I didn't know. Upgrade? Whole V2. Upgrades to... Whole V1. Yeah, now this game is trolling. Now, Logma... Logma likes to insta-heal. And I'm talking like, you leave this man alone for a second, he gonna be doing all sorts of healing. And this is the second last boss, so I definitely have Soul Guitar by now, but I don't think I have enough time to pull it out. Pain Nuke? Yeah, Paw may not be the fruit for this, but with torture and the excess damage, can't miss this torture. If I land this, yes, sir. Little extra poison damage. Okay, I'm about to die. He's about to die. The question is, who dies first? Don't tell me you lose the lightning raid. Don't tell me you lost the Paw, Logma. Logma, why don't you Ligma? Huh? Ligma. 
Now, boys, we have the last non-raid boss on the list. And her name is Big Mother. For my fruit, pain upgrades to Blizzard. Thank the blocks through gods. Full V1 upgrades to Midnight Blade. I would have took something else. But I do got a blessing. I can make this work. But my Blizzard domain is up. The question is, can she hit me? Because if she can, I may have a strategy to gain a little, little more damage. I don't know. I... I think she can. I'm dodging it right now. But she's having a hard time. But right now, Blizzard is actually a very good fruit for a very condensed boss. Blizzard is doing its damage. All I gotta do is land my sword moves. This should give me time. Snowflakes. Let's go! Big Bob down! And boys, it's time to raid. Now, in front of me is the list of the raid bosses. Starting from Greybeard. And we have only the 11 mythical fruits left. Means we have 28 out of 39. Quick mats. Blizzard upgrades the gravity. Midnight Blade upgrades the Coco. And I gotta be white beard with this. Oh no, I forgot. Cake Prince. Now, since this is a raid boss, I can't get help. But I can only get help from people using the same fruit as me. You see him? Gravity. Yep. There we go. Alright, boys, it's game time. And since there's only two of us, we gonna need V4. Pop it open. I don't know where woman Drizzy went. But gravity, gonna take some teamwork. I got the soul guitar out because I'm allowed to use it now. So a lot of gravity dominance is what's gonna carry this. I'm gonna hold him down. Then this is a prime time to M1. Soul guitar. Do all the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you know what? Get off my boy. Hold him down. So it's time to get his M1 off. Yeah, get his combo. Then he can hold him down right here. That's what I'm talking about. This is damage. And we doing this with gravity. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't say we do this well, but we is trying. But the good news is the Cake Prince is already half. Oh, no. Now, would I say my last build was better? Yeah, probably. But this build, um, it's kind of working. Does it help with my boy getting jumped? We to beat this man it really comes down to this i got you injection shot gravity push i won't let him yes sir we have done it first try gravity down and the upgrade goes to <laughs> the poppy mammoth sword coco goes to fox lamp oh a worthy build i won't even need this sword you should probably go find graybeard now graybeard is supposed to spawn right here there's no way he just spawned on my first server on my first try god god i'm not even gonna question it and with mammoth here all i gotta do is ram him directly into a wall i need a good wall i can get a good wall i can get a good gray beard ramming it oh my gosh i can't believe this happened like the kool-aid bass said <laughs> oh yeah if i can hold gray beard in this corner and i can ram him hard enough i, I mean long enough i Ooh, wow pause pause where'd he go it's like 3 a.m right now why am i always recording at 3 a.m why these vids take so long he despawned the bro oh there's no way how could he get full health that fast don't tell me I failed this on my first try. Wait, 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 wait. I'm almost V4. I should use the whole build to my advantage. But if I could pop V4. Wait, I got V4. Hey, hard, hard, hard. Look how much damage it does. Oh my gosh, I'm giving him the beatdown. I'm giving him the beatdown. Oh, beatdown complete. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Let's go. Upgrade. Now, with only eight raid bosses remaining. Next up, we have Darkbeard. But because we have to wait four hours for a Fist of Darkness to spawn to even make him come to life, we will upgrade and go to the next bosses while we wait. Because there's three in this seat. Mammoth upgrades the T-Rex. And the Fox Lamp turns into Dark Dagger. Eight bosses left. One of the bosses we can do in the meantime is Order. And because I got T-Rex, this may be a nicer experience. I will say Dark Dagger for a boss like this, this is probably one of the most useless weapons. I was taking tick damage. Could it be me? Slam him down. Scratch him up. Tail swipe. He screech. And to finish it up, don't mind if I do. Easy. Oh my gosh. Order God. Oh, we really have left is Darkbeard, Curse Captain, Rip Indra, Soul Reaper, Doe King, Terror Shark, and Leviathan. But first upgrade, T-Rex now turns into Doe. Dark Dagger is the Cavender. The Cursed Captain. Bro, really spot, bro. My luck has been a little different today. Just a little bit. Cursing Dash. I missed. I definitely see that 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 overpowered pirate use that move. Give him the beat down. So Curse Captain is one of the stronger bosses, but because I have Doe right now, there isn't really much he can do besides hold this. Give him the beat down. Oh, this fruit is so filthy. It's got no end lag, no nothing. You can just spam this fruit up. Well, this combo could actually do something too. Bro, let's go. About to have another boss down. Wait, 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 wait. That's if I don't die. That's if I don't die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's trying to, bro. He's trying to end me. Oh, oh, easy. It's almost Blackbeard top. Cavender now upgrades to the buddy sword. And Doe upgrades to shadow. Bro, I can't wait till the mythicals get awakenings, man. Hoo-wee.
It is the next day. And I've waited long enough for guess what? Are y'all ready for this? Solo Blackbeard. Good damage to start off. Good damage to start off. Oh, no. This is this is good. This is good, actually. I didn't know if Shadow would be able to handle this. But I forgot Shadow is underrated. This boss is... <laughs> This boss not boxing with me. Oh, no, hold him my ones. I get down. I'm freezing off ever again. And ones and ones and ones and ones. Blast them. Heat slash. Okay, this should be able to finish him. Come on. Hopefully the timer don't run out. One more. One more. One more. One more. Nightmare leech. Suck him. And we got the dub. Look at this side. Look at this side. Bro. It's like I made in heaven. Upgrade. Now shadow. Then upgrade to venom. Buddy sword. Upgrades to boss sento. Now clearly this is gonna be a <laughs> a fruit reliant build. And who we got next? Five bosses remain. But I got six. Six fruits. I may not have math right, but watch me cook. You want to open the portal now? No, King. You up. Bro loves to do the jump combo. Now, now this is a boss that do be spamming. Say hello to the no King. Last of Yo, how? Bro's a cheater. Y'all see that? Now, this is literally one of the hardest bosses in the entire game, if not the hardest. And we've already managed to get him down to, what, a quarter HP? Bro, I'm not going to lie. I've been hiding in the back. Whoa! Because every time I go in, that happens. Now, I sit back here, but he does have a chance to de spotting if we don't kill him fast enough venom was a good choice for this but bro i go la there's definitely could have been better whoa i'm not dying let me heal one moment last 61 000 hp i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead no no king fails which means i owe y'all a permanent venom store now i need another gosh chalice for indra and if i lose that i gotta give away a dark blade but it's time to upgrade venom turns into control ew and by seto turns into true triple katana i got an idea for this one control definitely won't be the best fruit for this so if i could fight the hollow boss now that would be perfect there's the hollow acid spot in the hollow boss let's go get him room yeah my knife a rush nah but listen i even worried about control bro i got the true triple katana look how much damage i do forget the control m1s only now the soul reaper is a boss known to drop a few different things the hollow scythe is one of them which i you know i should have used that for this but i'm gonna use it for something else since the hollow scythe has good movement i'm gonna save it for the leviathan yeah a rush let's end this for the finishing touch hit it lotus holy crown and another boss down which means there's only three bosses remaining and i'm pulling out the dark blade as well as control is upgrading too spirit the bosses remaining are rip indra terror shark a sea beast and the leviathan now this build spirit and dark blade this is actually a dangerous build that right there is an easy sea beast farm and with spirit i should be able to make this happen yeah i feel like I i've used this build before for the farm CBs. At least just the Dark Blade. Like, I feel like I, I wasn't using other stuff. But this is even better. Because Spirit, I can spam for real. And then Sky Ruler flies me back up. Okay, you know what? Not a bad Sea Beast build. But this gets rid of our Spirit Fruit. Almost there, boys. Th no, this? This is actually a good Sea Beast build. Yo, jail. Talk about an upgrade. Now, I am still out here. So I may as well do this next upgrade and fight the Terror Shark. Spirit turns into, oh, yes, sir, Poppy. Dragon and Dark Blade. Go the curse dual katana now i only have one mythical sword left and i'm saving it for the leviathan and i didn't even move in a terror shark spot now how will i use the cdk to help me with the terror shark i don't know but see if you can look my dragon hasn't even dragoned yet oh this is perfect i can use it to escape oh nah that's what i'm talking about now i transform yeah this this is the fruit terror shark can't hit me and i can just sky camp him now i wish this move worked but it don't but at least this does look i stay right here perfect he can't even hit me easy all right boys i'm just just gonna spam right here fight this terror shark boss until my dragon runs out then i'm in trouble what am i talking about this is the best build i could have asked for for this now, i really just gotta wait until my 10,000 damage is all i need i do about 3,000 damage a hit unless i miss boom terror shark down time for our next boss i got two fruits remaining leopard kitsune i guess that's all i have to be rip Indra with which is actually pretty good but the leviathan we finna find down all right boys are doing the colors I set them off. Rip guy just teleported. Listen, it is time. Rip it your true form. Bring on the leopards. Where did this magma fill? All right, we're fighting Indra. I just gotta do enough damage. That's all that matters here. We finally got a God's Chalice. 20 hours and 24 is near. Yeah, I be spitting sometimes, bro. Okay, hi. I'm losing my sanity. I feel like y'all love when I do that. Did y'all heard Flamingo said he gonna retire? And then he said he lied and something about kidnapping. How is, does he have a platform? I support him though. I, okay, here we go. Oh my, the leopard beat down in the corner is crazy. Push him in, push him in, push him in. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my God. Look at all the leopards. Look at all the leopards. There's so much kitty. You would think this was the club. I mean, I, I am using leopard. 
We've done it. One boss remains. Leviathan upgrade. Leopard turns to Kitsune. And I have the hollow scythe remaining. Spawn the gates in three, two, one. All right, we're into the Leviathan, bro. I ain't gonna lie, we found this quick. My stroke of luck, here we are. And the boys are ready to box. Now I got Kitsune. I've used this before in the past, so I'm gonna use it again. Blast them. Now, now, now. When it comes to fighting this Leviathan, we're not really fighting the Leviathan. We fight in these little swiftly dragons until we can take down the big one. Blast them. Keep it going. Come on, come on. All right, oh, bro, stop, stop. Okay, bro keeps freezing me. Bro, okay, here we go. I'm going up again. Fly. All right, now I am cooking. The boys is cooking. Bro, I can't lie to you. It has been such a journey. Every single boss in this game is about to be defeated. I've lost how many fruits? How much Robux? Who knows? But all I'm saying is we get closer and closer to my dreams of the full upgrade. All right, Kitsune, don't let me down. Boom. Uh-huh. Bam. Come on, come on. Fly up, fly up, fly up. Bro, stop freezing me. Okay, we got to get this last little piece here. There it is. Leviathan, who? Let's take him down, boys. Shit. Come on! Go! Ah! Last hit! Leviathan down! Let's go! I'm Fiji. Click this behind the screen. If you want to see me upgrade every single physical fruit I eat, this game costs a lot of money. But I ain't going down without a fight. Later day. Sheesh!